Okay, we are on lake number two. Made a quick jaunt. Um, yeah, it is freaking beautiful outside. It's like 87 degrees, sun, wind. And um, actually, we have been very surprised getting out here. Um, water temp's 58 and a half here. So we're right on the brink of spawn fest. Um, and we do not want to target these fish on the bed, but it's 58 and a half on up top, probably closer to 50 down low where they are, but everything's pointing in the right direction. We're going to pull up to some pre spawn points. I don't even know if you saw us fish here in the fall, but it was very bad. We didn't even get a bite. So we're going to do some pre spawn points, giant boulders, and, uh, look for some of these freaks in nature. I'm excited. Weather's better. Should be a good time. Cody's up there whipping around a hair yeah. jig. If you know anything about hair jigs, all you hear is Hidden in the north woods where pines fade into the sky is a class of fish seemingly as present and as old as the residents of the community. You come here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to catch a fish that will change your life. What many believe to be a dream is actually a nightmare. On this trip, you voluntarily sign up for failure. To be pushed into the brink of insanity. <laughs> <laughs> so why do you do it? To prove that they exist. I just can't believe they get here in the fall, too. Yeah. There's one. Just a little guy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right, first one on the new lake. Sorry for the wind noise, but this is just a little guy. But first one, got out of two. And uh, I got bit like six times, yeah. and it's pretty tough to it was tough to get him to eat it but i think it was at the end of our cast so we just moved up a little bit closer we're literally in like four feet of water just chucking at some giant boulders how does that one feel no, no. big no sir big no sir oh cute little cute little dad wow like even even this little thing, like look at his like proportions. Yeah. Like where he's got the hump on his head. Yeah. He's gonna grow up to be just a goofy looking one. Yeah. It's kind of running at me, so we'll find out. Oh, okay, never mind. Oh, oh, right. Where are you going? Find me never to use you. <laughs> Dude, that's oh, it is. That might be a five pounder. <laughs> it feels heavy, very heavy. That's a Ooh. big one. Look at how stupid these things are. <laughs> uh. There we go. Yeah. We we're just talking about maybe leaving this lake. <laughs> Idiots. Idiots. Dude, look how gross that thing is. So gross. You can say it's a little better than uh, the ball. <laughs> Big mama. Nice, dude. <laughs> what was that one off? Hair jig. That was on a hair yeah. jig again? I threw it out there and it started taking off. <laughs> I, didn't even, I didn't even do anything. I must have landed it right on his head. That was crazy. Dude, the back of my legs are torched right now. Yeah, I'm feeling that pain right now. It's just a dink. Yeah. Woo! Ambitious one! Goodness. That'll How high will you jump? 
That, that's all. That's all he's got. He's just tuckered out. Yeah. Little guy. So what we're running into on this lake, I think, yeah, that's that's probably the smallest one we're gonna catch this week. Yeah. I hope. Literally. Um, what we're running into out here is the males have showed up and the females have not. We think. We haven't quite figured that out. Cody got that one big one, but it's not the deal yet. No. So we're gonna fish here for a little bit longer and see if we can kind of pluck away and get one big one, but we're probably gonna end up making a move. Um, but good to see. The water temperature on this lake is very uh, I don't know, hit or miss, Yeah, basically. Maybe. Like one end will be 52, then it'll be 58, and it's kind of all over the place. So I think this place definitely needs to stabilize more. That's a rock. <laughs> nice form though it was it was it was good and you got it off and i got it off yep yeah that's, that's not a rock this is all that's here i mean that's not a terrible one no. yeah. you know Just a full Even, yeah, even these are just ridiculous looking. But this is funny because it's, these are the males. Yeah. Look at how tall he is. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? It's like almost as tall as he is long. All right. Make a couple more casts. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's one. Go. Yeah. Good one. Actually feels decent, really. Yeah. I still think he's it feels like small head shakes, but yeah. oh yeah, he need a pick. No, he's darting off way too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I catch all the thin ones? Cody catches all the really fat <laughs> ones. I catch the ones that look like they're from the Mississippi River. This is lame. Little guy. And we're back at it. So Lake Numero Dos was not as good as Lake Numero Uno. Oh, there yeah, there we go. I got it. Spanish speaking I friend. did that. Yeah, Spanish speaking friend. Yeah. So Lake Number Two wasn't as good. Um, we caught a couple. I mean, little guys. Um, one, one good one. So now what we're doing is we're gonna pop off this lake and we're gonna go investigate our third lake of the day. It's gonna be a really short stop, basically fishing one spot, right, yeah, Hunter? Yeah, yeah so we're right. fishing one spot just to see where that lake is at. Um, the one positive thing is lakes are looking really good. This is going way better than it did in the fall and we're really excited for the next few days and what, what can potentially happen. So we're gonna get off this lake and we'll see you at the next one. And hopefully we catch a big one. Maybe not. You never really know. As Cody likes to say. <laughs> I don't even know what I mean. <laughs> maybe good, maybe sh <laughs> <laughs>number three um this was a big swing and it yeah, missed but right. that's okay we did that because we've caught them today yes and we were looking for one giant bite to cap off the day which didn't come today but it's ensuing yes it <laughs> should be coming it should be coming we're feeling good it was 88 degrees today sunny tomorrow's gonna be nice out too supposed to anyways but things are looking up fish are definitely we Today was the day where I think they just started showing up in pre-spawn spots. Yeah. Like we talked about, it was like kind of onesie twosie in spots, um, which means in the next couple days, it will turn into a lot of them, hopefully. We've gotten <laughs> bit by this before.
so we are obviously on the water it is a beautiful morning if you stuck with us for the first two or three or i don't know how many episodes there are now um you have seen us endure hell we we deserve this i see hell this is so nice so what we're doing is I'm retying a few lines. I'm actually tying on a rock crawler. I do not know if this is going to work. Cody's never really thrown it around here. But we noticed yesterday a lot of fish were eating bottom baits when we thought they should be eating like jerk baits and stuff. Yeah. So I'm going to grind a crankbait down there and see if that'll get them going. But we're on a lake with some big ones, per usual. Mm -hmm. Let's see if they uh, actually make an appearance. Big? No. No. But I have one. <laughs> just a dink yeah <laughs> he crushed it though did he just slack lined it good, good, good. he's fighting really hard for being a one pounder all right watch out treble hooks in the boat oh, oh. never mind well, well that was the first bite and it was on the rock crawler so that was successful and he just crushed it too so really little guy though Okay, so a little update. Cody, what time is it? Like 9.30? Yeah, so it's 9.30. We've been out here for about two hours now. Um, the only fish we've actually hooked was that one I had, like, I mean, it got it to the side of the boat. It was like a one and a half pounder um, in like the first 10 casts. So, needless to say, it's been slow. But what we've been noticing is, well, we worked down the shoreline earlier, and Cody's reeling back his swim bait and jerk bait. And uh, on Mega Live, we could see fish chasing it but they're not committing to anything. And threw a Ned rig at them, a bunch of other stuff, kind of slow, but these Cisco fish are really weird. They're very like, things have to be perfect. Um, and speaking of Cisco fish, I'll show you a little bit of footage. I have a little bit of like hat cam and dash cam. Was that splash those loons, Brett? Yeah, I think so. Okay. <laughs> I saw a splash and I'm like, hmm. Because I keep seeing it and there's nothing, there's no. That's, yeah, that's not loons. Are we hearing that kayak or something? No, no, I'm, I'm like, because I've, here, I've seen it three times now. There's one there, one there, and one to the left. And I haven't seen the loons come up and like, see? Just did it again. Are they just aimlessly roaming out here right now? Probably. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yep, see the Cisco pod? They moved out. Yeah. Way. See that was a that was a Cisco. Those are also those are Cisco, but the splashes I was hearing before were not that. They're actually like poosh. something eating yeah. the Cisco. Oh, something happened. Oh yes, absolutely. <laughs> like literally zero doubt. Oh yeah, I can see him. I can see him. Oh, eat it. You're right on it. Is it a muskie? I don't think so. I saw two of them. Yeah, dude, freaking, I'm just reeling it in. Yeah, it? yep. Eat the f bait. Oh, I had a big mark on below. On yeah, these are on top of the surface too. Oh yeah, yeah. Look at this one. Go. Yeah. But it was something. Oh, what a what a ball, <laughs> man! Yeah. Holy cow! They're packed together. We were up on a shallow flat, turned around behind us. There's Cisco popping, Cisco busting. Um, we think we got there about five minutes late. Because um, we got over there and we saw some smallmouth chasing the Cisco around. I got one to bite a rig, but not eat it. Um, but it was cool. We were really close to something pretty freaking epic with that. But 
about five minutes late to noticing it. But uh, yeah, we're gonna work back down this shoreline. Hopefully the sun's up a little more. Hopefully they're a little more like wanting to bite. Uh, otherwise we're gonna have to make a lake move, which is no big deal. There's so many lakes up here and so many opportunities to go catch these fish. Um, there's just not a lot of these big fish. So just gotta keep plugging. <laughs> We are on lake number two, made a little gas station stop, got some food and some energy drinks. Um, but yeah, it is, it is like today is like that first day of spring where you're like, it is beautiful. It's like 72 degrees. We got like a five mile an hour light breeze. Um, it, it is amazing out right now. Water temp where I am sitting currently is 59.6. Um, I am assuming it is much colder, deeper, but seeing these water temps spiking very rapidly up here has us excited we know the fish are a little behind because uh the water's warming up so fast but they're coming to us right now and uh yeah this lake should be pretty fun there's quite a few fish in here um we caught some here every time we came here in the fall but hoping to capitalize on one of the really 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 big ones that are in here now but i'm excited to just set the hook that's a fun part about spring so let's catch some fish cody huh White gummy bear? White gummy bear. <laughs> <laughs> Why am I gonna get my white gummy bear for the win, baby? You got the net out for a reason. Oh, the bite. How does it feel? Um, I think it's one of those three pounders, honestly, but it's a good sign. It's a good sign because he was literally on the cast. That that's a pretty I, good one. Yeah, that's a decent one. But he was on the cast that he should have been, so. You know what? That's a start. That's there a start. You Thank you. Yeah. If you don't know what to do, just pick up a hair jig in the springtime. You're probably going to catch something around the flat, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's rock and it's yep. not. Not a giant one by any means, but nice to get a couple bites, get the day going. Because later tonight, we're going to be swinging for literally one fish. So as many bites as we can get now is a plus. Yes. Right. <laughs> Appreciate the yep. three pounders. Yep. We'll be nice to him. <sighs> one more time. Can we do it one more time? Nice. Nice. There we go. Yeah. Real little. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The walleye. Oh, what? <laughs> what? Oh my god, look how black this thing is. Yeah. Ugh. There's our tribute to walleye opener in Minnesota yeah. right yeah. now. There you go, there guys. You go, wow. Guys. Mouth. It is definitely a small mouth. I mean, it's got some shoulders to it, so. Yeah. Maybe a little bigger than the last one. Hello! Hair jig. Hair jig. Hair jig. Here, you want to go film him? Tubby. <laughs> he actually yeah. might be like a four. Yeah. He's chunky. Right? Look, Look at that thing. <laughs> they're just so stupid. They're like, they're like in relation to a bluegill. There was a cross at one point in time in their lives that. No, hair jig again. It's kind of been the consistent bait over the last couple of days, it seems like. That and like a, a bottom bait, but. We're really hoping for a jerk bait or a rig bite, but that has not shown up. 
so far. Okay, almost a four pounder. Almost a four pounder, probably, I don't know. How am I gonna do this? This is probably like a 17. Oh no. Like a 17 and a half incher, 17 and a quarter incher, and almost a four pounder. They grow so different. <laughs> they grow <laughs> different. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. No boy, no. That's a fish. Down? Yep. It doesn't feel that big, but it's a fish, I think. Nope, stick. Oh. The good old Get stick. Camera. <laughs> Dang it. Just caught it perfectly wedged. Look at this beautiful seven pound small mouth. Where'd it go, Bart? Okay, so we are back at the cabin, obviously. Um, the fishing was not great today. We swung for the fences, tried to get a really big one. The area of the lakes we were fishing were, they're just further b behind, right, Hunter? That's all they are. Yeah, they're further behind. And as you can see right now, there's no light on my face. It is probably dark. Well, we are adjusting no, lights. There yeah, there we go. All right, electrician Cody Hunter, here we go. Um, so what we're doing is we got a special guest for Chasing Ghosts. If you remember, if you remember Ryan Pinkala from the Crappie Chronicles. What's up? Pinkala is randomly in town. <laughs> Things <laughs> so, just worked out. Yeah, it did. Actually, it did work out. So we haven't eaten at all today. Honor and then Brett's behind the camera pumped because they've never had the cooking. So... We're gonna dive into it. What are we doing? What are we doing? And we're also gonna figure out this lighting. That's why we have Cody currently do, on top. Do you of want this more, pool. less it's or more light? At this point. Do you want more light? <laughs> all right, these guys. I don't know what they're doing. We're making whiskey, bacon, elk burgers. We got the grill. We got to get the coals going. I got elk meat, and uh, we're just gonna get into it right now. Let's go figure that out. Give me a second. Jeez. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Oh, he's hourly. Cody, what did you find? Found a stick. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't throw the wood right on top of the flame, but. <laughs> <laughs> Tip number two. So, uh, Ryan, um, we use. There's this one invention that was made called fire starter. Now, most guys would use lighter fluid in this situation. Not us, though. Not it. No. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. That's a good way to burn half a mustache off. <laughs> right there. Right there. But not this trip. We're going to keep the mustache full on. So, the fire has started, thankfully, to my green pine leaves which uh, obviously took flame uh, to the coals without you. And thankful to Omnia, they sent us so much cardboard that we were able to take a look. Take a look. Look at that roaring fire right there. Roaring. Omnia.com. Omnia.com. Not only do you get the baits, the best of Mega Bass, the best of the best, you get the best of the cardboard. Good Lord, Ryan Pencala right there is about to cook us a meal. All right, so the grill is finally heated up. Major, major drop all on my end. So we had charcoal and that's it. Need more than that. But we got a fire going, we got the coals hot, grill is ripping. And uh, all we're gonna do now, I'm gonna put together a uh, Caramelized onion, whiskey, brown sugar glaze that's going to go on the burgers. And then we're just going to make the patties, throw them on the grill. Seems simple. It's going to take way longer than we expect, guaranteed. But here we go. So I'm just going to get these onions cut up, get them in a cast iron here. We're going to get them caramelized up. And then a little whiskey, a little brown sugar. 
that's it. All right, so I just made up all the burger patties right now. We got the caramelized onions all done. Grill is still really hot, so I'm gonna put these on there. They're gonna cook for like five minutes probably. And then uh, we're gonna throw some peppers on the grill and then we're done. All right, so we just got done cooking up everything. The peppers just got done, burgers are golden, and uh, we just got the onions heated back up. But that whiskey glaze really is what makes this the whole deal. But that elk meat is super juicy and good. And I'm gonna give this to Hanna right now. He's been waiting, desperately waiting for this. Here you go, sir. Thank you, my lord. Notice the cross leg, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> and we'll pay the ultimate price. Oh my god. He's okay. He's okay. Yeah, it's really good. I'm off. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm really stoked everybody liked the food and uh, it worked out super good that I happen to be in the uh, Northwoods at the same time. So worked out for everybody. I'm super stoked. I caught a ton of fish today. So I, I don't know what these guys are talking about, but I'm going to go do it again tomorrow. Shut up, Ryan. That's huh. what I'm going to do. Hey, I enthused. Oh. Ryan, I'm going to catch more fish than you tomorrow. So, to the room, mother. <laughs> okay, food is done. It was delicious. Hunter? It was exquisite. Approved. Exquisite. Approved. Approved from Hunter. Thank you so much to Ryan. If you guys haven't seen his YouTube channel, I'll leave it linked below. Um, he does unbelievable wild game recipes. So, go check him out. Hope you enjoyed this. A little bit of a spin off for this series, but. You know, that's always cool to cook some food. So I think the plan tomorrow is we're going to try to go catch a lot of fish. We have said this like eight times before, and it has very rarely worked. So we're going to try to do it. Uh, but we've, we've checked. So two days now, we checked two different areas, and one area seems like it's going on, and one area seems like it's very much not going on. So we're going to go down to the area where it is going on, hop to some new lakes, see water temps, and hopefully fish are moving up and we can intercept them and uh, do this whole thing. You know, today we ran into some Cisco chasers and which is pretty abnormal for this time of year for them to be actually blowing up on Cisco. But we're going to keep an open mind and uh, yeah, chase them tomorrow and hopefully get some big ones. But we'll see you in the morning and yeah another episode we're having fun <laughs>